there is so much happening in Call of the Wild right now that we might just need two videos today to cover it all, but let's get to the main point here right away. The new Great One has been found, and it's been confirmed to be Red Deer. Now, I have kind of tried to understand the story behind this because the screenshots kind of make it a little bit difficult to understand, but essentially, it seems that this particular Great One Red Deer spawned dead in single player, so I'm not exactly sure what that means. I'm wondering if it's similar to the Great One Whitetail, where if basically you had it rendered at one point and then left render of it, it would end up being like an overweight level 3, or at one point I think we saw overweight level 4 and 5 whitetail, which of course never should have existed. So it might be related to that, and I will say that does make me a little bit kind of worried about actually grinding for a great one red deer, but the screenshots of this are pretty interesting. I am going to guess that this is maybe a small rack. One important detail is that it is only 269 score, which I want to say there are some diamond red deer that score higher than that. So that is all very interesting, but with that confirmation, I decided to come out here to Quattro today and do a little red deer hunting. We actually have a red deer kind of grind setup already done from back when True Rack Red Deer came out and we were looking for a diamond, but there is just so much excitement, so much buzz going on around the red deer right now. I really wanted to get out here and take a look and see what we have. And I mean, who knows? Great one red deer, I bet there are bigger racks out there, but the first one has been found. And now officially we have our first red deer of this hunt, but while nice, it is definitely not a great one. So there's actually a couple in here that I want to take out, and unfortunately I mentioned having a setup here. We can't use that tripod because the tree here perfectly blocks the red deer, but there are only two stags as far as I can tell. So it should be okay to not have to worry about hunting pressure from that. Now unfortunately brain shotting a random hide isn't going to get us a respawn, but I guess if he's just going to hang around... We can go ahead and make that shot, and I also noticed on my way down, there was another stag somewhere up in this area, and it looks like they're far enough away that they didn't spook. It's actually a similar sized one, and he is facing us, so we'll have to be a little more careful that we don't accidentally hit a hind again, because the hunting pressure there starts to be an issue, but I think there is a shot that we can get through there. Definitely hit the stag, and we definitely got a lung. So. Not too bad to start with, but I do want to go back to the level 10 red deer that was apparently just found in single player. There are a couple of details to look at. I'm sure you guys noticed in the screenshots that were shown on screen there. There is some like brush or vines in the antlers, which I think is a really cool idea. And I wonder if there's going to be other variations of that. If we go and look at the white tail great ones, for instance, there were a total of like six or seven racks, if not more. They could spawn, and I would certainly imagine for the red deer, it's going to be a similar scenario. So I'm betting there are going to be a bunch more to be discovered. And I wonder if that's a thing they're going to go with at all for the other ones. Now, something else I wanted to mention looking at the screenshots as we run over and go to claim our other stag is that the weight on this particular red deer was 0 kg, which is kind of odd. Although, I mentioned before, I wonder if it is something similar to... The bug that was there for whitetail great ones for quite some time where essentially if you got close to them and didn't kill them left that area and then came back they would be like a overweight level three or an overweight level four whitetail stuff like that we also had some underweight whitetail at one point that i think were weighing 0.1 kg so i'm guessing that it's related to that i really don't know and like i said it does kind of make me worried about trying to grind for red deer but I guess the one thing I would say is be very diligent as you're hunting around and make sure you spot all the red deer in your herds. You do not want to spook off one right now when we don't know what is going on, but it is really cool to see and I just can't wait to see some of the other rack variations because I bet they will get a good bit bigger. But anyway, back to our hunt here as Rascal is trying to push us around. That's actually something that apparently is coming in an upcoming update. The dog collision is going to be turned off to where they don't push you around like that. But it was another gold stag and another max weight estimate stag, which is definitely a good sign. But I think the last thing that I'll mention about the great one that was ultimately a gold, and by the way, I believe the reason for that is because there was no vital hit detected because, I mean, the animal spawned dead. So it couldn't have gotten the great one medal. 
But I'm curious what you guys think about that. And I mean, if anybody else has a theory as to what would have caused that, it's definitely something to try to understand as a community. Unfortunately, sometimes these things kind of go unfixed for longer than we would like. And that was, wow, that is a big, I think, mythical red deer. That was the case with the Whitehall Great Ones when they originally came out. We're going to be best off to fast travel back here, I think, and try to get a shot that way. But the more we can try to understand and the more we can figure out about what is going on, as it relates to Great One Red Deer, the better we're, we're going to be as a community and the less likely it is that we end up losing a bunch of them to random bugs or whatever it is that's going on. So like I said, if you guys have any theories as to what that is, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I think that's the mythical that we saw. I thought he was uneven, but looking at that, he does look to be symmetrical. Just since he stopped, we can take that shot, and there is another little stag with him. Naturally, he's going to start trotting right as we get the crosshairs back on him, but he should stop. It's just that the angle is getting worse and worse. No idea if we can actually realistically get a shot through there. We're starting to lose track of him, so that one's a little unfortunate. Probably take, should have taken a trotting shot, but it is what it is. Definitely a welcome sight to walk up on. A nice 215.9 red deer stag, doubling them there at 261 meters, and again, kind of unfortunate we didn't get the other one, because of course we want all the respawns we can get to try and eventually spawn in, hopefully in a live uh, crate one red deer, but I guess we'll kind of have to see what happens hopefully when we get to that point. I know one thing's for certain as we are trying to spot a red deer through some brush. There's been no lack of max weight estimate red deer, which kind of does make sense because there's been pretty solid evidence that the pops have been reset for red deer, and a lot of times that does result in a bunch of big ones, but I'm hoping that's going to persist as we continue on this grind because it always does make it more interesting to see a bunch of big ones, but another max weight estimate 7 down as we are continuing kind of along here, and I hadn't even seen. There's another big 7 up there with a 4, which realistically we should go back to the tripod, but for the sake of saving time, we're going to try to get them both just as we are here. The good news is, you never really do get red deer in groups like the whitetail, where it would be that important to really worry about hunting pressure. There's also kind of more spots on Quattro to where I think you spread your hunting pressure out a bit better. But now that this guy's lifted his head, I was hoping to drop a hard shot in there right behind the shoulder, but I think it's going to be kind of bottom of the lung. Or maybe that one was a little bit too low. Maybe another shot will help out there. So we'll have a little bit of tracking to do, probably. And that shot was even a little bit high there at 340 meters, but through the brush and all, we got the lung for him. And go figure as well, we were able to make a heart shot there really without trying that much on our 211 level 7. But then the other one, which we sort of actually attempted a hard shot, managed to run off. But I think the second shot will be enough to at least bring him down in the long run. And as the case tends to be with animals that are shot kind of poorly, I think he was actually on his way back and made the tracking a lot less of a big deal. So nice of Rascal to help us out. And one more additional respawn that really didn't take too long to go with track down. Now this, by the way, is something that I'm kind of open to see with maybe some of the other Great One Red Deer racks. There's just a lot more times kind of going outwards on this, and I think a lot more mass there in the main beams, and especially at the tops of the antlers. So that, of course, remains to be seen, but I really hope to see some that are kind of similar to this, maybe just scaled up a little bit. I just think something like this, I mean, with all these tines, all the mass up top, just maybe a little bigger, maybe some other tines going inward or something, I feel like they have a really good base for a Great One Red Deer rack right here, but like I said, all that stuff kind of remains to be seen, and I do think that's going to be our last kill of this video. I really wanted to just kind of go on a Red Deer hunt for one on a map where it's light out, now that Red Deer have been confirmed as the next Great One, and again, I wanted to kind of get you guys' thoughts on like what the heck is going on regarding the one that was found that was apparently just spawned in dead. I really hope that it's something like what I said where maybe it can be somewhat at least taken under control where we can know what's going on and hopefully not everyone is going to deal with that. Or maybe if it's an obvious issue, it'll be fixed sometime in the very near future. But like I said, there's a lot going on in Call of the Wild right now. I'm going to be back with another video a little later today 
talking about some of the clues that have come out and what they might be leading to. And I guess both videos today are going to be a little earlier than normal. There's not going to be a 5 p.m. release as there usually is, but just so much news I wanted to get these videos out a little extra early today. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.